This is the tech deck that we're going to create. It's the right size and shape as a tech deck. The wheels don't move and they're not separate pieces, but it works fairly well and it's easy to 3D print. So this is what we're going to do. So the first thing you want to do, you'll be here when you log in, you'll be on Onshape. You want to click on Create and Document. And you want to give it a name. Just call it Tech Deck. And then we're going to click over here on Create Public Document. Okay, first thing we want to do is click up here. We want to make sure our units are correct. So workspace units for this project need to be millimeters. If this is the first time you've logged in, it's probably on inches. And you'll have to click anywhere in here and go to millimeter. Then once you've chosen the right unit, you click on this the green check mark when you're finished with selecting your options. So we want to start a new sketch. So I'll click on sketch and I click on the front view, which is what I want to start sketching on. Then I'm going to click over here on my view cube. I'm going to click front so it turns towards me. And if you press down on the scroll wheel or control right click, either one, you can move this around. So I'm going to move it over down this little way because we're going to be drawing most of our things right up here. So on the worksheet you should have a picture of what the sketch looks and the dimensions. So I'm just going to start uh, drawing that. So I'm going to click on my line tool. I'm going to start at the origin and I'm going to drag a little ways. And it shows the dimensions there so I can, I can you know, get real accurate right now, or we're going to come back and dimension it in a minute. It's easier, I think, that way. So I'm going to click, and you'll notice when I go down, I can go anywhere I want, but if I go down perpendicular to the first line I created, it kind of snaps to a little line there where it's perpendicular. So I'm going to click there to make these all perpendicular. I'm making the what it will be the wheel, a little section here. I'm going to just sort of estimate this. And same thing here, I'm going to make this perpendicular to there. Okay, and you notice this perpendicular is perpendicular to this dot right here. Good, now I'm done, but it want, it's allowing me to continue, so I have to hit escape to get out of this tool. So there's my basic shape of the skateboard. It's not dimensioned properly, but it's, it's an estimate. So I'm going to click on my dimension tool, and I'm going to click on one of the line segments. I know this one is supposed to be 30 from my picture, and it's 49. So I just click once, and I can type in 30, 30, enter. Okay, now it kind of made it smaller, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit using my scroll wheel. And I can move this if I want to. I can put this really anywhere. At any point in time, if you do make a mistake, let's say I put a wrong number there, I can use my back arrow right up here to undo something. Okay, so oops, I made a mistake. I can do that. I can go back and redimension this. Click twice, 30, enter. Okay, now this line is supposed to be 23, and I'm starting with the biggest lines first. Usually that's a good way to go about this. Start with the biggest lines first. This one's supposed to be. 23, click here, this one's supposed to be 3.4, enter, uh, this little line here is supposed to be 3 millimeters, 3, enter, this line is supposed to be 7.4, it's pretty close, 7.4, from here, the bottom of the wheels to the top of the board is supposed to be 14.6. I'm going to measure the angle of this line and this line. Now, depending on where I move my cursor, depends on the angle I'm measuring. Okay, so that, see how it changes? Different, different areas, different lines. Okay, I want to measure this one right here, which is 23. 
Okay, so now I need to make the curve of the wheel. Okay, and we're going to use for that, we use the fillet tool right here. And since this line and this line are going to be involved in creating that curve, I click on both. Click on that line and that line, and it puts that right in there. Now, I've, I've already practiced this, so the number is already in there for me, 3.7, 3.7, enter. Your number will be different, so you'll have to probably put that number in. And then the same thing here. Click here, click here, it puts it in there, enter. And for my dimension tool, if I want to move these, I can move these, or I can even click on it and press delete if I want out of there. So I, ne I don't necessarily need both of them there. Um, but anyway, so that's what that looks like. Okay, and then you can move these to make them, if you want this to look nice and neat, you can center things and all that. Um, now, you notice I've only created half of the skateboard, or the tech deck, um, and this here comes a neat tool called mirroring. So I'm going to mirror this half onto the other side. So when I click on this mirror tool, it says select a mirror line. So I can just click on this line. That's the mirror line. Then it says select entities to be mirrored. So I'm going to click on here. And you notice when I click on the part on the right, it shows up on the left. It mirrors it on the other side. So if I go around the skateboard, All the parts that I'm clicking on will show up. And if I make a mistake, I can always remember, I can always use my undo up here. So now I have a completed sketch of the tech deck. So now I need to extrude. So I'm going to extrude this. And I like to turn this a little bit so that I can see what it's doing. And this needs to be 28 millimeters, 28, enter. Okay, and I just click the green checkbox. Yes, that's what I want. So it looks like that now. Okay, now we want to round these edges. So this is another fillet. And I have to click right on this line right here, right on that line. And this fillet needs to be 14. So if I press 14, oops, I have to highlight this. I can press 14 and press tab, that'll enter that in there. Then I can see this shows me what it's going to look like. So I can do all the fillets at once. I can rotate this, click here. Maybe zoom out a little bit, maybe move this over. Okay, and that gives it its basic shape. So I click the green check mark. Okay, so now I want to smooth this out a little bit. On a real skateboard, you notice this isn't a straight line. Boom, boom. It's more of a trend. There's a little transition there. So I'm going to click on the fillet again. I'm going to click on this line. And I want this fillet to be 14. So I'm going to press 14 and press tab. That'll enter that in there. And then you can see how that's going to look. See how that's nice and smooth? So I'm going to do the other side. And then also, I'm going to rotate this up and do the bottom. So this isn't a straight line here, too. That smooths that out. And that's also going to smooth that out. Okay. And then I click the green check mark. So see how that gave it a nice smooth edge here? Smooth on the top, smooth on the bottom. I'm also going to make a little rounded corner around the top edge. So again, it's fill it. This time it's going to be just one millimeter. And I'm just going to click on the top here somewhere. You can see, boom. There. I had to do it again. Uh, and it just gives that top part a little rounded shape. Okay. So you could be done now. You could be totally done right now. This would, this would work fine. Um, if you want to put your name on it, we're going to, I'm going to click on the top here. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to do another sketch. Sketch, click here on the front. There, I had to do it again. There's my sketch. And up here, you see the font tool, the text tool. Click on the text tool and drag a square where I want my text to go. 
Okay, and this window pops up automatically. Now we want it bold, and I'm just going to type my last name. And there are a few choices uh, in fonts. Um, we found this one seems to be the thickest and fattest, which makes it look nice. And I click OK. Now this is way too big, isn't it? So I can actually dimension. I can move this around this way. And I can actually dimension the, the text just like I dimension anything else. So I'm going to click on my dimension tool, click on this top line, and I'm going to dimension this to 50. That way it'll fit in the bottom flat section of the board. So I'm going to click on there and drag that. Oops, I missed. Oh, you know what? I couldn't move it because I was still in the dimension tool. So I have to hit escape. Now I can move this. Kind of centered in there where I want it. I think that looks good. So I say finished. Click the green check mark. Done. Okay, now it's not done, done. I just have the text there. So I have to extrude this. I click on the extrude tool. I click on my text. And right now it wants to come out. So I need to change this arrow right here to the other direction. I want it to go that way and I want to remove the stuff that I'm doing but I only want to remove it. Right now it's got a big huge hole in there. I guess you could do that too. That might look kind of neat but I want this to be one millimeter. One enter. So now when I zoom in I can see that's just a little bit of an indentation. So if I'm happy with that, I like it. Once everything's good I click the green check mark and I'm done. To export this, I click on the Part Studio tab here, right click, go to Export. Give it a name, Tech Deck, maybe my name, and maybe I want a green one. So when you send this to me now, I know it's a Tech Deck, I know whose it is, and I know the color. Uh, the format needs to be STL. The format probably, if this is the first time you've done it, it probably looks like this. So you have to click here where it says Parasolid, make sure that says STL, that's the kind of file it is. Leave this alone, make sure this one, and this one probably will say inches, and you need to change that to millimeters. The rest should look just like this. Then you click OK, and you can see this downloaded right here down to my downloads. So then you email me, attach that file, and you're ready to go. Thanks.